Yo, hey folks, it's Kevin, Big K Horror here. Um, I'm actually going to be redoing a video I did just recently here for the May Horror Hall. Now it's June, and uh, the last time I did the Horror Hall was late at night after I was under the impression of all my psychological medications. Well, I was real groggy and real blah, blah, blah. And I really seen watch it, and I felt like I was like real drunk, which I wasn't drunk, but I was just under the medication, all under my medications. Now it's the afternoon, and I'm not, I mean, I've taken my medications, but I'm not under the impression of them. They haven't hit me yet, so I figure I'm going to redo this. Now, I may delete that video, I may not, but I'm going to redo this video. And uh, I just want to talk about some other things, right? But I'm going to redo my whore haul and add some other things that I found that I want to show off. And uh, talk about some other things. Here, actually, I'm going to take my glasses off. They're giving me a headache. Um, so, um, you know, May was a very tumultuous time for me. It was a very negative month. But June, now that's June, I'm going to make it a positive month for me. So far, it's been a positive month for me. Um... I've lost a lot of weight. I went from January being 310 pounds. Now it's June. I'm down to 240 pounds, which I don't know if to some of you may sound like a lot of weight loss. To some of you may not. But keep in mind, I'm about like 6'2", 6'3". So I'm a big, big guy. That's a lot of weight. And it's been through, you know, cardio, eating right, and also through a medication that's a bipolar medication that does not cause obesity because all bipolar medications cause obesity except for this one so that's been on my side so with me doing exercise plus eating right I haven't worried, haven't worried about you know obesity or uh, weight gain so that's been on my side so but first off I'm gonna show you off all my new horror movie t-shirts I got with my horror haul first one being is my Howling 3 the marsupials with a tagline of just when you thought it was safe to go down under and it's like the Howling 3 the marsupials um I love that tagline because you know it sounds very sexual but you know it's in reference to the whole Australia or New Zealand or whatever I think it's Australia um anyway but uh it's been a while since I've seen the movie but I always loved the cover of this movie it used to scare me um anyway so starting off with that all these shirts I've recently gotten are from RottenCotton.com and uh, I know you've seen some of these in my other videos, such as this one, uh, The Gates of L Lucia Fulci's The Gates of Hell, aka City of the Living Dead. Um, but this is one of the shirts. And I got two new ones this past week, which I want to show off. Now, I've recently worn them this week, so they may look kind of dirty, so I apologize, but I have to show them off, but I'm going to be washing them tomorrow. One of them is Alice Sweet Alice which to me is a favorite film of mine, and the tagline says, if you, survive, if you survive this night, nothing will scare you again. And that's Alice, Sweet Alice. Brooke Shields' first film, I think. And uh, the next one is, is one of my all-time favorites, and that is Pieces. You don't have to go to Texas for a chainsaw massacre, and at the bottom it says, it's exactly what you think it is. One of my all-time favorite fucking exploitation splatter films. Campus college slasher films. Alright, so enough with that. Alright, so, moving on. So, I'm going to do this horror haul that I did in this past video, but I was groggy in that video. I mean, I watched it and I thought I was drunk, but I wasn't drunk. I was just under the impression of all my medications that I'm on by the night, because I made the mistake of doing it at night time when the medication set in. And it's afternoon time right now. It's like 5 o'clock when I'm awake, alive, and aware, and just full of life and zest. So anyway, so we're going to start. So one of the new VHSs I got is one of my favorite Argento films, um, which is called Phenomena, which is the uncut version. But when it came out in America by New Line Cinema, they cut it, and they released it under a new title called Creepers. And uh, this is the VHS cover. When I was a little kid, and my mom used to take me to the VHS store when it was all VHSs way before DVD existed, um, I would stare at the wall-to-wall -wall VHSs of horror films. And this one always struck out at me. And this is Jennifer, a young Jennifer Connelly under her first starring title film in her horror film. And I would stare at it because it looked fucking cool as hell. And now I finally have it in my collection. And it, 
and it completes my uh, Argento collection almost, and I fucking love it. So now I have this in my collection, and I love it. So I'm so glad I have it. All right, moving on. Um, next up, I think I've already done a. I've done this in a horror haul. I may be wrong, so if I have, I apologize. But I got this for my birthday, but I got it kind of late. Um, and it's one of my favorite Frank Hindelauder films. And I'm a fan of his films. I love Brain. I love uh, Basket Case, and I absolutely love. Frankenhooker. That movie is a classic. But this is one of my favorite ones because it deals with the, uh, uh, drug addiction and the effects of what drug addiction does. And that film is called Brain Damage. And I love this little character, Elmer, right there. And uh, this movie is classic 80s, like almost cheese, but it's got social commentary and it's about drug addiction. And it's, it's, a, it's a smart, smart film. It, look beyond the cover, look beyond the age cheese, it's a smart film. Okay, so moving on. Um, uh, next up, um, my MP3 player I got way back in the uh, December of 2008 um, just recently died, and that had all my music on it from everything I did my cardio, whenever I was having a bipolar moment and I was angry, I'd walk the streets, listen to my music just to calm down. It died on me. So now, um, I now have a new MP3, uh, Sony MP3 player, and it's a maroon red. The last one was black. But now I'm busy adding all my new music to this one, and I absolutely love this new MP3 player. It's a maroon blood red, and I think it's fucking fantastic. It's loud, and it's it plays great. I love it. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. It's one of my new additions to my collection. So I'm uh, busy adding to that to it. And it, one of the things I do listen to this late at night when I'm roaming the streets of my neighborhood is the Phantasm, the original Phantasm theme from the first Phantasm film. Very haunting, but very beautiful, but very creepy at the same time. I love that theme. Anyway, so as for my Blu-rays, which is very small, um, um, I, my friend sent me this because he knew I'm a big fan of this film and I'm a big fan of the franchise and I know a lot of people hate this franchise but again I'm a paranormal freak and I love the franchise even part 4 I was enjoyable of even though it went nowhere it didn't explain nothing but I was a fan of it I had fun with it but I am talking about Paranormal Activity, and I'm talking about the new Paranormal Activity film, The Marked Ones. This one, to me, came back with teeth, with bite, with a fucking punch. And I love the new locale of the, um, the, the poor Latina neighborhoods with the awesome, um, with the awesome uh, Latino characters in it that were awesome. It had new scares, new mythology, and an awesome twist ending, in my opinion. So I say check it out. All right, next up is Shout Factory's re-release of the College Campus Slasher film Final Exam, which to me is one of my all-time favorite slasher, uh, campus slasher films, which I used to rent in fifth grade over and over again, like I did my favorite slasher film, Some Party Massacre, that you see the poster behind me. This is along the lines of that. Now, this is not a gross slasher film. However, what it is is a character-driven film, but the, it has a silent, motionless killer, which you know nothing about, but the vi the deaths are vicious and mean. And that's all you got to know. And it has a character named Radish in it who's addicted to horror films and serial killers, which is my favorite character in the film. And if you wonder if the movie is high death and worth getting, yes, it is. Get it. Alright, next up is Abel Ferreira's Miss 40. Five. This movie is one of the best vigilante films that came out during the same time as Death Wish and a bunch of other rape revenge films. But this movie gets it. This movie is about the 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 trauma of what rape can do to someone and the vigilante uh, mindset it can set for someone. And unfortunately, the vigilante mindset this girl goes through sets a template of uh, attacking people who are wrongdoers and innocent people. And it's one of those movies that is fucking great. And if you've never seen it, it sets apart. It's set in the old New York City uh, time frame during the 42nd Street Grindhouse when New York City was dirty before it became a Disneyland family attraction. And it is a great, great film of revenge cinema. So if you ever want to see it, check it out. 
All right, next up is a movie I've yet to watch yet, but I remember seeing it on old VHSs when I was a kid watching it, and it was under the title Witch Bitch, and I remember seeing the trailer to it and being like, wow, that looks fucking nasty and gross, and I'll never set foot in a gym because of this movie, but, you know, years ago, I set a foot in the gym because I used to be a big be a big bodybuilder before my trauma set in and I could never be in a gym because I used to be scared of people but um, this movie is called Death Spa and it just came out on Blu-ray by Gorgon Video thank you for Gorgon coming back out and uh, it's a nasty slice of cinema and it's 80's cheese and it's pretty much about um, a husband who cheats on his wife his wife dies and she gets in the computer system and starts wrecking havoc on every single person that enters the gym and killing him different ways through all the ways of the people that use the gym through the spa through the workout equipment through the showers and everything and it's gross and it just came out on blu-ray and i'm about to watch it probably tonight or this weekend i'm not sure but this is my recent uh pickup on uh blu-ray so um, and last but not least, uh, this is not a new, uh, pickup. This is just a CD I recently found in my collection that I thought for, forever lost. But, uh, I don't have the case for it it's somewhere, but it's all cracked and broken. But one of my favorite, um, bands who's like a satanic 70s, 80s band who went off to become a solo artist named King Diamond. But before this King Diamond, he was in a band called Merciful Fate. And I found my best self Merciful Fate. And this is one of the best satanic, um, if you want to call it satanic, but satanic metal albums. And it's the best of Merciful Fate. And I fucking love the CD. And I'm glad I finally found it in my collection again. So there you go. That's my horror haul, whatever, of uh, May or now June. And um, I just wanted to share that. So, um, that's what I got. I got my horror movies, my horror shirts. I'm fucking losing weight and skin again, feeling great again, feeling more confident. And, uh, and I got my, some, some loud satanic music to jam out to when I do my cardio and I'm feeling great. So that's all I want to share with you folks. Have a happy June. If I don't see you again till July, maybe again in June, but, uh, happy horror hall folks. Take care. Bye-bye.